delete her number, um, just delete her emails, like everything that you can think of eradicated from your existence. <laughs> Mari, what are you doing? Come on, wait, just one, one almost there. All right, stop. Okay. Go ahead and check everything out. So what you think? Mario, why did you do all of this? So we've been there for a couple of months now, and although it has been the smoothest ride, you know, I'm willing to look past the bumps in the road and probably take this to the next level. Next level? Yeah. Would you be my girlfriend? Amari, I can't. What you, what you mean? I mean, look, you're a sweet guy. You're genuine, kind-hearted, but I just don't want to take things to the next level with you. I thought things were going good. We what changed? Like, what happened? Look, I appreciate the gestures. <laughs> I really do. But it is a bit much. I mean, like, the random kisses, holding my hand everywhere we go. It, it, it's a lot for me. I thought, I thought girls like that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, some might. But I'm just not, not me. I'm not saying I did it for that reason. Like, obviously I did it because I liked you and I thought that there was a connection, but what went wrong? Like, like what happened? I don't really know what else to say. Just tell me so I can fix it. Amari, there's no fixing this. Like, I just don't want a relationship with you. I'm sorry. But look, like somebody out there might. I'm not knocking the kind of guy you are. So this is it? Mm, unfortunately, but we could still be friends, though. Well, look, I'm going to go now, but thank you anyway. Get home safe, Amari. Stupid, bro. So damn stupid. Do you think I'm just here to, to ruin what you have going on with women? Do you think that's my job? Well, guess what? It's not. I'm your discernment because you don't have any. Months ago, I told you months ago that this girl did not like us the way that you think that she likes us. And, and what did you say to me? Come on, come on, say it. This is the only way we're going to learn. I said, just give it time. Give it time. I seen the from a mile away. She continued talking to you because of how nice she were. It was the perfect opportunity to take advantage of the simp that'll do anything for her. And what did she do for you this whole time y'all were dating? Answer your FaceTime calls? Say yes to dates? Allowing you to open the door for her? Bro, I'm sorry, man. Sorry for not listening to you. As much as I want to strangle you right now, it's life. It's one of the ways that we gotta grow. Sometimes people gotta strip us down so we can build ourselves back up. But I forgive you. But this shit not happening again. Let me out. 
Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? It's Timmy Lee Glean. I'm coming at y'all with another video. It's been a little while, but, you know, back at it again and, you know, ready to get it moving. So first and foremost, uh, shout out to Amari Usher. I'm gonna leave the link um, to his page in the description. I follow him on uh, TikTok and I saw this video and it resonated so much with me and this is why I wanted to make a video about this. But I also wanna give credit where credit is due because I'm not that kind of person. I wanna bring this video to you because I feel like it's so relatable, not just to me, but it's relatable for so many men and a lot of us that needs to stop being that nice guy, stop being that person. And not to say stop being him, but stop being him for the wrong women. Now you hear the saying that nice guys finish last and i believe in many cases that is true nice guys do finish last there's a vast difference between being kind and being nice by the way a lot of people don't understand that and some women will look at a man's kindness and if you're overly kind to the wrong person with a deeper motive or intention you are considered a nice guy and it doesn't have to be bad motives or bad intentions by the way you are considered a nice guy you should never be that nice guy especially for the wrong woman because if you have the right woman you don't have you're not in the nice guy category because you have the right woman that woman wants you you know and that woman wants to be with you and she wants to but if you're overcompensating and over validating the wrong woman that don't even want you you are considered a nice guy you are the guy that's there that's the best friend or the friend of the woman that has a boyfriend like you're the homewrecker kind of like then on some real you are a homewrecker kind of guy a real man don't want the woman that's in his life to have other men that's around, even if he's a nice guy, even if he's a weak dude. A lot of guys do it and I don't know how. You know, it sucks because a lot of these guys have some of the best qualities. The qualities of a husband, the qualities of a uh, father, a good father. You know that this kind of man will be a great husband and father. A lot of these men would never cheat. You know, a lot of these men like, no, I'm, I'm serious because I, I seen it. And a lot of these women were actually, like that woman that's in the skit, she would give that man a chance and marry him just to divorce him and take everything that he has or, you know, eventually she would break his heart. She would have children with another man. She would be the one that cheat and this man would just be working hard to do everything that he can and being in catering to her and rose petals and <laughs> she's walking on rose petals and he throwing this coat on the ground in the rain and she's walking on it, holding all the doors open and we're getting roses and flowers and it's overbearing for her because you're not even the man that she wants. See, a woman that wants you, every single gesture that you do, she's going to appreciate. This is why men have to hold back on what they give a woman unless this woman is taking that extra step. You should never waste your time with the wrong woman. Ultimately, it boils down to this. She don't really like you. So you as a man that is going for this woman and you're doing all these things, you know, as you saw in the skit, and she said, it's a bit much. You know, we all been there. You know, I could tell you that I've been there before where I'm being one of the main ones to reach out and connect. I'm being one of the main ones to try to make plans. I'm being one of the main ones to do this and that. And there might be some sort of effort in the beginning, but that effort is going to dwindle. That effort is going to die. You're gonna realize that you are consistent and that you are going to wanna to keep things afloat. And that person, they're gonna be texting you less. They're going to be communicating with you less. They're going to not want you to hold their hand in public. They're not gonna want you to be close to them and lovey-dovey and and cuddly or whatever, you know, they're, they're not going to want that. They're gonna say, I want space or I want this, or it is a lot, or it is a bit much. That would not be a bit much for the right person. You're not the right person for her because she don't want somebody with your qualities. A lot of women don't want a good man. Some women just need time to heal. Some women haven't had time to heal and then you come in in her life all healed and then now you are putting yourself in a situation where you need to heal from again, from the things that you heal from. You might've been working on yourself, spent time in singleness and away, and then 
You know, this woman comes into your life and she bringing past traumas and hurts and all the things in her past and then she's bringing into your life. You still trying to pursue her and still trying to do this and that and that and this. And then next thing you know, you wasted your time. So if you know this is the wrong woman, if you know this isn't a woman for you, if she's giving you these signs already and you know, you would know. Leave her alone, cut her off. Yes, I said it, cut her off. And just like the woman said in the video, I'm going to tell you, don't make this mistake. Don't be her friend. Cut her off, delete her number, throw away everything that you have that reminds you of her. I don't mean your things, but anything like, say for instance, people give gifts and people give things to you. Give it all away or throw it away. I'm telling you, it will help you out a lot. It don't, it, you won't be reminded of it. If you're on social media, unfollow her on social media every social media unfollow her and delete her number um just delete her emails like everything that you can think of eradicated from your existence you want to completely move forward because if there's a woman that's going to ever be in your life trust and believe there will be a woman if you have good qualities if you work in yourself and continue to build on you and sometimes it be Yah's will i believe and i believe that Yah will bring a woman back into your life um depending on the circumstances but it really has to be the most highest will but in most cases that woman she fumbled the bag it's okay to admit that if, if a woman fumbled the bag if she had a man that treats her nice that treats her well treats her kind and he has these great qualities to be a husband a leader and a father it don't necessarily have to be a nice guy per se but you can just be a nice guy and you're sent for this woman, you know, because that happens with a lot of people. I can tell you it happened with me. I wasn't a simp, but when you are desiring something from the wrong woman that don't want you, that's when you become the simp. Because if you have a woman that wants you and you're extending yourself and doing these things, but it's reciprocated, you are not a simp. Don't ever think that a man could be a simp for his future wife or his wife if that woman actually wants to be with him, actually wants to build with him, actually wants to have his babies, actually desires to be with him. That's the one that the most high is called and she's going to be a help meet, a help suitable in his life. Trust and believe that that man is not a simp if he has discovered that good thing because he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from our Adonai, Yahuwah, the most high. So once again, cut her off. Do not be her friend and leave her alone and move forward with your life. Because when you meet somebody new in your life and you've already disattached, you already cut them strings, you already, you know, loosed yourself of that soul tie. And especially a blessing if you didn't sleep with her yet. You know, that, that'd be an issue too. People sleep with people and be with people in that way, but they don't really want to be with them. And first of all, I feel like you shouldn't sleep with no woman unless, you know, that woman is your wife. And I say that to say this, like people push purity on women so much and girls so much that they don't push it on the men. But I'm telling you, it'll benefit you greatly to really get to know a woman and you'll see her true colors. If you're not sleeping with her, you get to, like you as a man, if you're not sleeping with her, because we go stupid when we sleep with a person. Men and women both alike, we go stupid when we sleep with somebody. If you're not sleeping with them, you could really give yourself a chance to really know them from the inside out. You can see things outwardly already, but you get to see what are their qualities and what are they attracted to and what they really like and what they really want. And when you get with people and see, oh, she really wants somebody that looks like this. She really wants somebody to have this. She really, and then and when, when you get to see that and get to know that and you're not that person, she don't want somebody that actually wants to love her. She wants somebody to have things. She wants somebody to look a certain way or to be a certain way. You know, and a lot of women are like this. Like you see a lot of worldly women nowadays and a lot of women that are in this faith, in the same faith, you know, rather Christians or people that are in this faith, but they want a man with qualities that are not in the faith. The word says don't be unequally yoked, you know, so if y'all not yoked by the same faith, first and foremost, that's important. If y'all not yoked by the same belief system, if you're not if you're not yoked by similar 
values, things that you value, you know, your upbringing, thinking about your upbringing and what you've been taught growing up, those are very vital. Those are extremely vital. You know, so after you cut this woman off or if you already cut her off or if you got just flings that you're in and out of your life, I'm not telling you what to do with your life, but I'm telling you the best way, if you are this kind of man, a romantic, somebody that desires a wife, I'm telling you be celibate, that's the best way. To be celibate, um, to do semen retention, that means to not ejaculate, not to let anything loose, not to watch pornography, not to mas not to do none of that. You as a man, you need to just stop it all and you need to be pure. You need to give yourself some time to be pure. If you are in this faith, maybe you need to get into the word more. Maybe you've been lacking in that area in your Bible studies, devotionals. Maybe you need to journal. Journaling helps, you know, especially like the kind of journaling that I do. And I'm gonna make this available. Hold on one second. So I think I wanna make these available. Um, I don't know if you can see. I want you to, come on. So I wanna make these available. This is basically my journal for, um, you know, my thoughts with the most high. So I just write to the most high with this book. So I'm going to actually see if I can make this available before this video drops or soon after this video drops. But um, this is a journal that really helped me out, sort out my thoughts with the most high. Of course, speaking is one thing, but journaling is another thing. I got multiple journals, by the way. But yeah, journaling is extremely healthy. That's a good thing to do. You know, whatever business you got, you know, if you got or if you got a nine to five, just say, for instance, you got a nine to five, you know, and they're offering overtime, work overtime, stack up. You know, if you don't have children, you know, like get a second job. You know, if you got a car, work your job, drive Uber, Lyft or DoorDash or something like just work on yourself. If you got a business, you know, work towards you know, investing in that, or if you already have some sort of capital in your businesses, or you have some sort of capital to start a business and you have an idea, start a business, build on that, educate yourself, go to a trade school and learn a trade, do something. You know, like if while you don't have a woman in your life, you as a man, you're gonna wanna be in a position to be able to provide for a wife and for her family. And if you're in a position where you don't have children, if you're single, which most men that are like single are childless. A lot of the women are having children with a smaller percentage of men, you know? So when we look at that, there's a lot more single men with without children that are working on something, but there's a lot of men that are lazy. There's a lot of men that allow video games to take over their life. You know, if you're playing video games, you might as well get good at it, start streaming, do tournaments or something. You know, it's like, you, people get paid off of streaming. So why just play the video game for nothing? Buy yourself a capture card. This capture card, this drink costs me nothing, basically. You know, connect this to the game system, connect it to, and you could just live stream your stuff, get yourself a little cheap camera or something, and just, man, like you could do whatever. You know, like there's ways to make money or there's ways to turn your hobbies into something. You could sell stuff through this, you know, make a YouTube channel, talk about your experiences, you know, make vlogs, do something. You have a perspective, you have a vision, you have talent, you have gifts. You know, it's time to work on those things. And sometimes being with the woman takes away from those things. When the woman is supposed to in inspire you and encourage you and to push you and to help you, she's a help me for a reason. You know, so many men will get with a woman that just independent minded. I'm independent. I don't need a man and this and that and that and this. I don't need a man, but I want a man. Like anybody that has that mindset, run away from. But ultimately you want to be pure. You want to walk upright. You want to get in your word. You want to get into prayer. You want to get into the presence of the most high. Learn about Christ and learn about his characteristics. If he is the head of man and man is the head of wife, you got to really know Christ, you know, and that's very important and vital as well. You know, so for those that are unbelievers and those that are believers alike, um, and for those unbelievers that are eavesdropping into this, yes, you know, Christ is the head of man. I don't mean the European man, by the way, that looks like this but more so he's a brother that looked like me <laughs> and not to try to make it about skin color or anything but you know some people have the wrong image of christ but those are things that i'll be talking about on my ministry page you can actually check it out you know in everything you want to put the most high first you know in all the things that you do in your life you know so when it comes to your relationships your connections you want to put the most high first. You want to be led by him. And when you're led by him, you're going to learn about the unction of the Holy Spirit. 
and the Holy Spirit will lead you into all truth and all righteousness. Now it's going to lead you into truth, meaning you're going to know the truth about what you're walking in and it's going to lead you into righteousness meaning you're going to righteously handle situations if you're righteously handling the wrong situation you understand that it's the wrong situation you as a man could be like well i could see that this is going nowhere mean you want different things you can do that as a man and you can see it early on you know you ignore that gut feeling but you got to trust that gut feeling and the most high will give you the unction of the holy spirit trust in your gut feeling trust it you know, when you're starting to see certain signs like, oh, maybe she's looking at other men a certain way and you can see it and you notice that because we notice that stuff. You know, you might notice her, you out in public and she might be overly friendly with other people, with other men. Like she's comfortable, like y'all two be together and then she'll just go ahead and just start talking to a man right there in front of you. You know, you got this inner feeling like, man, this ain't my wife. You just might be under a delusion. You know, you might be under a love spell. Sometimes women would do it. They know what to do to draw you in. And it's crazy because the validation feels so great. It feels great in the moment just to dump you off. And it's just like playing with your heartstrings. It's like, these are games that a lot of women play. A lot of women actually are intentionally playing this game knowing that she doesn't want you and she would know that you like her. She'll know that you're interested in her. And now cut her off, leave her alone, and don't ever talk to her ever again. I'm telling you, don't be her friend. Don't do it. Trust your gut leave her alone because when a new woman comes into your life best believe she's gonna trust congratulations or just try to be proud of you and stuff or just yeah you know, and you never want that there and then if you still following her on on the social medias and you know is you with a new woman and you still following her and she see that you with her she might start posting certain things just to get your attention like if you were really that good to her, she's not going to, going to forget you. See, your regret happens immediately. Her regret happens in 20, 30 years when she's looking back alone and being like, man, I never had a man like that before. Like, I, I remember how he used to treat me. I ain't meet nobody that treated me like that again. That's because you most likely were a blessing for that woman. And she rejected the blessing of the most high in her life. And if that happens, you got to be cool with that. Like, don't worry. Like, there's more women than men. The woman that you desire, most likely, if you're this kind of man, is a rare woman. You want that Proverbs 31 woman. You want that woman that is filled with the Holy Spirit. You want a woman that's going to pray for you. You want a woman that's going to pray with you. You're going to want a woman that's going to want to support you, that's got, that adores you, that wants to, you know, like a lot of people say she's a pick me. Well, let her be a pick me. You know, a lot of people say like she's a slave because she wants to cater to her husband and, and, and you know, love her husband as she's taught to love her husband according to scripture. You know, as the women in Titus 2 it says to, Teach your, uh, teach the younger women, the aged women should teach the younger women to love their husbands and to take care of their homes, to love their children. And this is biblical. And there's women that have taught their daughters this and they exist today, you know, but they know not to mess with knuckleheads. They know not to mess with men that are full of lust. And, and these women that are full of, they, they can see it. They can smell it from a mile away. Just like us as righteous men can smell lust and we can smell it from a mile away when a woman is so we have to walk righteously. We have to put the most high first in it all. And we have to just handle our business as men so that we can be in that position to be able to say, hey, if we need, if when that time comes and we really meet that woman that is meant for us, that is meant to be to help me in our lives, and we have things, it ain't about being a millionaire, having things established like the way that you like, Sometimes it takes that woman to be in your life to help you get to that next level. But why are you doing that work? Work on yourself, being your purpose, and just, you know, just have tunnel vision towards your goals. Like, leave these women alone. All these women are going to distract you from one that's really good for you. Ultimately, don't let your experience change you. Don't let it shift your thoughts towards women. Uh, don't let it push you towards being disrespectful towards women. Don't let it push you towards the red pill and the men going their own way movements. I know a lot of people don't like that I say stuff like that. I had, you know, some issues with a man on a post. And it was a post with a pastor preaching about marriage. And and this guy is men going their own way stuff. Like, get that men going their own way stuff out of here. No, be single and be content in your singleness and work. 
but man, people got to stop bringing out Paul out of context. You know, just these men going their own way, trying to bring Bible scriptures. Like it's better to be single and stuff like that. Like it, it, it is better in a sense. But when we have those desires in us, it's not good for man to be alone. We know that, but we're not desperate for no woman. You know, we're not this and that for a woman. But how are we going to pass? pass anything on to the next generation if we go in our own way and we're saying forget women this is little rascals back in 1996 he man woman haters club and we don't want any more women in our lives and we don't want none of this we should be ourselves we should never change if you are this kind of man you are just being this kind of man to the wrong woman because i'm telling you the right woman would appreciate kind gestures she would appreciate roses even if you gave them to her every day you know, even if every day you, you kissed her and told her you love her. You Every day you tell her that she's beautiful. Every day. There's men that's like this that will tell their wife they are beautiful. For 50 years, every day, she hears I love you and you're, and, and you're beautiful multiple times. And she will never get tired of it. If, if, if that woman is that woman she loves you, the modern woman, I'm going to be honest with you, they like validation from men that aren't theirs. <laughs> more than the man that's theirs but if you're not validating them it's like they want you to validate them and then sometimes that be the excuse like i don't feel beautiful and it's just like well i call you beautiful all the time well i don't want to hear it from you you know like irreconcilable differences divorce i don't feel beautiful i feel like this i feel like this i'm not happy this and that and that and this you don't want to marry a woman like that you want to marry a woman that will receive you you want to marry a woman that I appreciate your hard work. I appreciate your mindset. I appreciate your heart. I really love you. Like you're very kind to me. Like, like and she acknowledges those things that you are. Like, you're really a good man. I'm so blessed to have you. Like, there's women that's like that. Cause men are always like that. But girls are like, we love you, the snooker pumps, and just stuff like that. Like, and you know, I'm lucky to have you. I'm you're the most beautiful woman in the world. And this and that. And like men get tired of saying, like, not to say like when we love a woman we're gonna feel like that towards one woman so if we love the next woman we're going to feel that not that same thing towards that woman towards this woman because it's a different woman but love for us if we're consistent in our love it's going to be she's going to get this treatment as well and then she's going to get this treatment as well if you continue to fall in love and then you realize you're giving five to ten women the wife treatment and now they have a little piece of you with them for the rest of their lives and you have a little piece of them with you for the rest of your life you know and of course i believe by the grace of yah he can break soul ties and all that but that'd be the most important thing to really just not put yourself in a situation where you're even garnering soul ties i'm thankful that i didn't fall in love that many times with that many women you know like a lot of other men that might run into these situations a situation like this in this skit I uh, only had happen, I will say, uh, I will say about three to four times. When I say three to four times, that is without sleeping with the woman, you know. So it, when that moment comes where I get to the point where I express myself and my intentions, there was only one case where they. It, invited it and accepted it and moved forward and it's it was a problem because she expressed to me that she wasn't attracted to me um down the line of course like down the line she expressed that she wasn't attracted to me and i said you know what uh, let's still keep on trying and then next thing you know it just doesn't work out it just doesn't happen because i wasn't the man that she wanted i realized there was certain treatments that i was getting i realized there was certain things that I was getting I realized there was a lack of compromise on her end it was like hey you know maybe you know this time doesn't work good for me sometimes it's just like can we meet in the middle and it was just like no we can't we're not meeting in the middle it was certain things that I felt like were red flags there were certain things that were deal breakers that I turned back on sometimes when you do that a woman will not respect you you know so ultimately you want to be the kind of man that stands firm on your if you have a deal breaker and the life is too short there's enough beautiful women out there and when i say beautiful women don't just look at the outward appearance if, she, if she's beautiful inwardly she's going to look better outwardly towards you 
this is why a man could go for a quote unquote less attractive woman but you know she might have virtuous qualities those qualities actually can make a woman look way better no believe me these qualities inner qualities make a woman look better to a man but unfortunately on the other side of the spectrum a lot of women will look at money and she, that's how she could be with an ugly dude because of money she can be with an ugly dude because of this or for that but when it comes to having certain qualities you can even be a good looking dude you know you're not gonna look as good to her you know if you have those qualities if you're a nice guy you know ultimately you don't want to be a nice guy if you allow certain treatment if you allow certain things it don't matter how good you look if you're allowing certain things if you're allowing her to walk all over you if you're allowing her to wear the pants if you're allowing her trust and believe that she will walk all over you and trust and believe that she will not respect you she will settle for you and you will be a physical toy and she will even marry you as a physical toy just to divorce you you know so you never want to be that either for somebody you know i'm just trying to just give you stuff based off my experiences and off the experiences of hundreds of thousands of testimonies that i've heard from men so i truly hope that you take in something that i said you know ultimately once again i just want to say don't let it change you don't let it make you be somebody else don't let it make you be a dog be who you are just don't give too much of yourself to the wrong women and once again stop being a nice guy stop being that but be kind and be that man to the woman that's meant for you not to say be mean to other women by the way but be that man to your wife not to any woman fun but here you should watch these other videos around this topic it will totally bless you i believe and may the most high bless you in yahushua name